Let's talk about the different injection angles. Intradermal or ID goes into the dermis at a 10 to 15 degree angle. This injection is commonly used for TB testing and allergy sensitivity tests. The most common site for this injection is the inner forearm. Next is subcutaneous or sub-Q injections. This injection is given in the subcutaneous tissue. It's given at a 90 degree angle for normal to overweight patients and at a 45 degree angle for those underweight patients. This is used for non-irritating water soluble medications like insulin, heparin, and Lovenox. Common sites are abdomen, upper arm, and thighs. Next is intramuscular or IM injection. This is given in the muscle at a 90 degree angle. This is used for irritating medications such as vaccines, epinephrine, and Toradol. Common sites are the deltoid, vastus lateralis, and the ventrogluteal. Lastly is the intravenous or IV injection. When starting an IV, it's given at a 10 to 30 degree angle. This is used for administration of maintenance fluids, medication, and blood products. Some common sites are the hand, foot, wrist, forearm, scalp, or cubital fossa. If you're a new nursing student and you need help with all these basics, you can find help in the complete nursing school bundle. Happy studying, future nurses!